A pastime from an earlier age is on a roll these days. Nancy Giles gets us up to speed. For many people, nothing beats a walk in the park, especially on a warm, sunny day. But why stroll when you can roll? Roller skating, that four-wheel throwback, is staging a surprising comeback from a crowd in Queens, New York to the Southern California coast. Enthusiasts are going old school and loving every minute of it. It feels like ultimate liberation, honestly. It's like flying. Sarah Haywood is a 34-year-old from San Diego. She hadn't put on a pair of skates in 18 years. But that all changed in 2020. Was it the pandemic? Is that kind of the situation that made you want to connect with your inner child again? I just realized, okay, if I'm going to be home for the next 60, 90, 120 days, what can I do that's going to really serve my soul? She's not alone. 3,000 miles away, Tanya Dean, a retired corrections officer, is also gliding to the music. As soon as you say skating, it's like, <laughs> everything goes out the window, blackout, can't think of nothing else but roller skating. Oh my God. But that's the joy. It makes you feel like a kid. Mm -hmm. It brings you back to the time where the world was innocent. As far as fads go, skating is no flash in the pan. Charlie Chaplin used it as a prop in his classic Modern Times. And fast forward decades later, when Gene Kelly went from singing in the rain for the 1980 film Xanadu. Fact is, skating stretches back centuries. And that history is on display at the National Museum of Roller Skating in Lincoln, Nebraska. I love skating. I have not done it in recent years, though. Peggy Young is a consultant to the museum and says the sport began in the Netherlands. There's evidence that suggests the first skates were made in the 1700s by the Dutch, wishing to extend their skating season. They added wooden spools to the bottom. That was the birth of the inline skate, which has its wheels in a row. But the quad variety caught on thanks to an American inventor. Well, James Leonard Plimpton was known as the father of roller skating. Okay. And this is one of the skates that he patented. And you can see here, lean, you can, there's some, some give to it. So as you would lean on the skate, it would turn make a corner. And that revolutionized the whole industry of roller skating. And what an industry it became. Roller skating, one of America's popular youthful pastimes. There were performing acts and derbies and rinks by the hundreds. A few still remain. I hear that inside it's really special. It's really special. Like Guptill's roller skating arena you, in Cohoes, New York. It was sent to the Guinness Book and it is the largest indoor roller skating rink in the world. Skip Guptill is the owner of this 64,000 square foot time capsule. His father turned farmland into the rink that opened on Valentine's Day 1951. I noticed in the back there's a beautiful bronze pair of skates. Are those? That was my father's those are your skates. Dad's. And we put them in that little display case because he built the arena. Do you have memories of when the rink first opened? My father stood at the front door and turned the key in the door, and there must have been 800 people at the front door to come in. 800 people lined oh, up. Oh, yes. Crowds used to skate to organ music. But in the 1970s, a different sound arrived. Now, I can't quite see you in the all-white John Travolta Saturday Night Fever <laughs> suit. Did you ever do anything like no, that? No, I didn't, but my kids did. Oh, they <laughs> did? They did. Temporarily closed because of COVID-19, Skip Guptill is hoping to soon reopen. What is it about this rink, you think, that's kept this going, where other rinks have kind of come and gone? It's family-run and the nostalgia of coming back here. People remember that their grandmother had a good time, their kids had a good time, and now their grandkids are having a good time here. They never forget that. Rink or no rink,
people are skating where they can, showing off styles and skills. Level three. Tanya Dean holds Zoom classes to clients from around the world. Here we go? Yep. All right. As for me, I used to roller skate, but that was 40 years ago. Push off and glide. Sometimes you can like step to the side too. I'm okay. slowly getting back on my feet. It's a, kind of magical. With the help of Skip Guptill's granddaughter, Claire. Hey! <laughs> a very patient coach. You did it! <laughs> well, thank you.